Sorry, my video was interrupted. Um, they didn't want to give up what they believed and what they practiced. But the men did. The men just um, basically converted what they believed and attached saints' names to the um, gods or goddesses that they worshipped. And they attached Christian names to the festivals. But the women... Um, and also it has to do with the fact that women were not recognized as being um, worthy of being in positions of leadership and teaching positions. So the women were having to hide in secrecy. So they would um, gather together at night and um, continue to worship the goddess and to dance and have their fires and all of that. And so... Some of the things that they had to do had to be um, secret. or um, And the idea behind the black cloaks is that, you know, if somebody figures out or shows up to arrest them or find out what they're doing, they just throw on the cloak, the black cloak, and disappear into the night. And um, so I think that's where a lot of the um, stereotypes come from. Um, another uh, item was the ghost stone. Um, this was used to temporarily wield power or influence over the spirits of the dead. I don't know if I particularly like this idea because um, the more I read about it, um, sometimes like if a spirit was not willing to help or whatever, they would um, enlist the help of other spirits to basically trap the spirit into the stone. Um, I don't know, I just think it's kind of, it sounds kind of mean to me. I wouldn't want to trap a spirit um, that was not willing to help me and force it to. Um, they also used something called an ash pot, which um, it was used to um, keep various ashes from ritual, save them for later use. Um, also like various fluids and things that may have been used in ritual. ritual. So, um, I'm also going to tell you two um, simple spells using your mortar and pestle. Um, I think nowadays we don't, we use our mortars and pestles to, um, you know, make incense and things like that, but we don't really necessarily use it as the focal point of our magic. So, I thought this was pretty cool. Um, so, um, for calling something to you, like, um, for getting something. You hold the mortar, um, sideways and in, insert the pestle. And, um, you, you, um, turn the pestle in a clockwise motion. And, um, for a total of three times, you're turning the wheel. And, um... You are going to say this chant. Set the task, bring to me the thing I ask. Then you hold, um, and then you ask what you want what you want to happen or what you want to get. And you hold um, the mortar and the pestle, one in each hand. And um, at each point, each of the cardinal points, um, you say, Go now to the four winds and return with my desire fulfilled. So that's pretty simple, huh? Simple spell, simple um, words. And for the opposite spell, um, to get rid of something, send something away, um, you do the same thing, but in a counterclockwise motion. So you um, move the pe pestle in a counterclockwise motion. And um, in both spells, you kind of start off moving the pestle slow and you work up, um, you're building up the energy. Um, and the words for the banishing or the sending away is turn the wheel, break the cask, wash away the thing I ask. And then you make your request. Then um, hold the mortar and the pestle, one in each hand. And at the four points, at each one, you say carry my desire off to the four winds and return no more. So I thought that was um, pretty cool. Um... Another spell I saw um, using mortar and pestle was the spell of the quell, or an unvexing spell. Um, you use the mortar and pestle like a bell. So you hold the 
um, mortar and you tap the pestle in the inside, similar to how a bell um, rings. Um, you make a slow and deliberate meter, so you're like keeping time. And you say, mark the spirit, set the time, and then the person's name that you want to bind or you want to have stop um, harassing or whatever you, you say their name here. I hear now bind, no wagging tongue, no rolling eyes, no harmful acts, no more your lies. Wag your tongue, your throat grows sore. Roll your eyes, a headache roars. Harm someone, you grow forlorn. Spread your lies, you fall in thorns, on thorns. So those are um, some spells using your mortar and pestle as the focal point. So um, that's all I have for you today. I'm just being sick all weekend. Um, so I will do some more reading and hopefully get you guys some more interesting videos. If you have anything you'd like me to do a video on, you can um, message me. And um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Blessed be. Bye.